looking for today? What kind of candidates are you looking for? Yeah, so I'm looking for PG2s and PG4s. Okay. We're looking for junior procurement officer. All sorts of candidates, really. Mostly entry-level candidates in the procurement field. Looking for individuals who likely graduated from a supply chain program or have qualified for a pool or have experience in, in that field. We're just looking to collect resumes to get to know people. We always have opportunities that are coming up, so being able to work and meet new people that are interested in joining the government and procurement and we specifically divestment, that's what we're looking for today. We're looking for procurement officers or people that are interested in procurement at all levels. The past few years have been difficult in the sense where a lot of people have retired. We have a lot of vacancies. Of course, we'd like to get people with experience, but we're all fighting for the same resources. But we're also looking for people interested in coming into our department, learning about contracting and procurement, and staying with us and learning. So at CSC, we're looking for entry-level candidates individuals that have about a year of procurement experience, not necessarily in the government of Canada, but in procurement in general. We will have some upcoming competitions, hopefully, in the next month or so, which will be posted on our webpage. But we're basically looking for supply chain graduates and a year of procurement experience. And what makes your department and agency interesting to work for? So we're actually a super unique department in the government. We help other government departments divest of their surplus assets. So we're on the other side of it where we help to sell. We have our online auction. It's really amazing. We also have a few other business lines, including GC Transfer, GC Donate, and GC Mill. So it really gives a broad range of items that we're able to sell and be able to work with other government departments. It's a lot of fun. It's really interesting. It's a good question. So Immigration Refugee Board has a very unique mandate and a lot of people are interested in coming in and helping us with procurement. They know it's a very important mandate, it's high visibility and they want to do their part and they feel like even though they're doing procurement like other departments, they feel that the work they're doing really supports the mandate. We're in law enforcement, so we support law enforcement, so you're always going to be guaranteed a job, okay? If the government of Canada is never going to cut a program, it's law enforcement. <laughs> The CRA has its own delegation, so we can do any contract. We don't have to send it to another departmental agency for processing, so it is a, a lot more control over our own destiny. That's a good one. <laughs> So we are a very unique department based on what we do. We protect Canada's interests through signals intelligence and cybersecurity. So we're very lucky to be able to directly support our emissions mandate through the work that we do in our procurement team. So it's a very satisfying, very fulfilling position knowing that we're supporting an organization that basically helps with Canada's national interest and security. Our mandate is very interesting, Health of Canadians, it's very applicable to anybody really and you can really see the impact of what you're doing with your acquisitions and, and the projects that you're working on. What other ways are you recruiting talent? Yeah, so good, good question, thank you. So we're trying to obviously going through the motions of doing formal staffing processes, doing inventories, attending these job fairs, going to any networking activity that we can, because as everybody knows, the situation right now is that it's very dire where it comes to the PG community. Yeah. There's not enough people to fill the seats that we have vacant right now. So we're reaching out to schools, looking at people that get out with any sort of degree or knowledge that we can use. Which it could be administrative, it could be financial. Procurement is so broad, there's so many tentacles to that that we try to use everything we have and if you have a bit of experience in finance we'll take you up and we'll train you on the rest but we're trying to pick up little skill sets that we can use. So in general in procurement we've recently started posting on the different forums like the procurement group on Facebook so we've used that as a bit of a new creative way to reach out to candidates whenever we have a competition upcoming. Recruitment in general, I might be able to ask my wonderful colleague over here in HR. <laughs> right now, I work in the outreach team, which means our team goes out to all the job fairs, career fairs, either virtual or on site like today. And we just reach out to people and explain what we do, what we're looking for. And I'm here as the HR info person and they're the procurement 
people, so we work in teams like this, but we always redirect them to apply on our website because it has to be done online. We're reaching out to the Algonquin program, the Supply Chain Integrity program. We have a good line of communication with them. We do talk to a lot of other departments in terms of what kind of pools they're running. Easiest way is to go to gcsurplus.ca. That's our online auction, being able to familiarize yourself with the things that we sell, as well as being able to get in contact with us, go on GC Jobs, have some pools up there, so being able to reach out, and then just submitting your resume. That's the best way to do it. Here, I don't know if you can see this, where it says cscst.gc.ca slash careers. That's where people can apply.